Hey, fam. It's your girl Ash and I get back at it and today I'm going to be checking out James A. Castor on the absurdity of the British Empire. If you guys would like to check out my other James A. Castor video, I'm going to have the link up at the top. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Your girl is on the road to 40k. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. A long time ago, but not long enough ago and it's not still very relevant. <laughs> Everyone in Britain got in a big old boat and we set sail and we robbed, and this will sound far fetched, everyone in the world. Do you remember that? What a spree that was. Do you remember the great heist? What a spree. Let me tell you, look damn Brits, they don't care. They have the biggest balls in the whole entire world, okay? They literally invaded everywhere. Like, literally <laughs> invaded everywhere. Oh my gosh, you gotta love the Brits. They don't give a damn, okay? <laughs> they don't! And we got all the swag, didn't we? And we took it back to old Blighty. And we hid it, this is the clever part, we hid it in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> in a museum? Last place anyone looks. Now it's the modern day, and all the countries who stole stuff from are asking for that stuff back. But uh, don't look worried. We're totally saying the blanket, no. <laughs> A few of you are sitting there, I can see your angry faces like, so what? Fighters keep us shut up! And... <laughs> not when you, not when you defense, steal it! Fighters keep us shut up has worked very well for us so far. <laughs> yes, all those have knocked out, out the park, fighters keep us shut up. <laughs> but even you got to admit, right? If someone stole something off you as an individual, it's your favourite thing, and they nicked it, and you knew who nicked it, by the way, for a fact. Not a hunch. <laughs> you know who's stolen it. Everybody knows. It's common knowledge. Some people have written books about it. They've definitely nicked off it. <laughs> you got to ask for it back, and they're just standing there. They're not even running away. They're twice your size. They ain't scared. They haven't even bothered to hide it. They've done the opposite of hiding it, actually. They put it in a glass display case. It's lit from seven different angles, real clear what it is. There's no dispute it's the same thing that once belonged to you, because there's a plaque next to it. <laughs> a plaque next to it. Because exactly what it is at the top of the plaque, and then a paragraph underneath about how important it is to you and your culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait, hold on. And let's talk about the fact that let's talk about the fact that James is literally matching the background. His shirt, his hair, his jeans, his um, his pants, his shoes. He's literally matching. Like, he's blended in with the background. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That's just, that's just hilarious. I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm like, why is he camouflaging in with the whole setup? You can be forgiven for thinking. Mm, I'm pretty sure they haven't got a leg to stand on here. <laughs> Probably gonna take this home today. And <laughs> not. Must have been so confident all them countries when they asked for their stuff back. Just walking up to Britain, saying to their friends, wait in the car, I don't even need you. <laughs> Be back in a jiffy, mate. <laughs> hey man. Brits uh, don't care. A while ago, a lot of your ancestors stole loads of stuff from my ancestors. Yeah. I'm here to take them home. Let's write this wrong. What do you say? Members before the British person at the door was gonna go, absolutely you can have them back. We stole them, after all. But instead, we went, I don't think so. <laughs> We're still looking at it. <laughs> Take it if you want. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, just looking at it these days. There's a lot of other people who haven't seen it yet we'd quite like to show it to. So, not right now, selfish. <laughs> Like, literally, I can picture it. I can picture it. I can definitely picture that happen. That is hilarious. Behind the rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the British Museum is so busy all the time. No British people ever go in there. It's for the people from abroad looking at their own stuff. <laughs> 
walk at the corridors, reminisce about the good old days. <laughs> but imagine just openly robbing the gift shop at the end. That is one and all, you punks. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? I tell you, the Brits, the Brits, man, I love y'all. I swear I do. I love y'all. Y'all don't give a damn, okay? I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> they done stole everything, put it in the museum, only just for you to go and look at it like, did you steal that from my ancestors or somebody? And the Brits is like, sure did. <laughs> goodness comment down below let me know what you guys think oh this was hilarious i'll see you guys in the next video bye fam